We are fishing at Parksville, British Columbia, and we are going to be targeting Chinook salmon, as well as doing some prawning. Parksville is quickly becoming one of my favorite places to fish, based on its non-stop action, hard fighting fish, and close fishing grounds. Fishing with me will be Nolan Terrace of Parksville Boathouse, as well as a very special guest, everyone's favorite six ton marine mammal, Canucks Finn. This trip is extra special as it will be the maiden voyage of our brand new Kingfisher 3025 GFX. I have been literally dreaming about getting this boat out on the water and I can't wait to test it out. First step on our journey was to meet Brad at Parksville Boathouse and pick up our boat that their team had just finished rigging. Yes. What do you think? <laughs> That's awesome, dude. Oh. Good to see you. Hey, good to see How you, you doing? buddy. I'm good, you? Good. Ready to see your oh, new boat? Oh, man, that's amazing. Look that, at how good that looks. It's a beauty. It turned out great. I've been seeing bits and pieces from you uh, as the build's been going on, but to see it now put together and buckled right. up is, wow. Yeah, the color wow. of the engines, the gear cases, everything matches perfectly to the boat. That's incredible. Uh, twin 200s. Love it. Full Simrad package. Love it. Thank Can't you. Beat it. Thank Can't you so it. much for the... Uh, I know a lot of time, a lot of effort went into this, man. I really appreciate all the guys here. Went above and beyond the spectacular. Yeah, we'll put some extra uh, time in. Yeah, but well, let's go check it out <laughs> inside. Yeah, come on in, let's Perfect. take a look. The old wide plank there, nice touch by Andrew. Yeah. It's nice. Oh yeah, wow. Yeah, the door, everything, it's gunnels. Wow. It's beautiful. Looks fantastic, it's so clean looking right now. Look at that. 16 inch screen just oh, popping into that Simrad. Oh, beautiful there. That's unreal, man. Some of the details that you don't even really think about until you get into the final stages are rod holder placement, downrigger placement. And this boat we're gonna use, uh, obviously for a lot of fishing, you know, salmon, halibut, lingcod, but tuna as well. So a big thing for us was getting the right, the right alignment for rod placement when you're running yep. outriggers. So you guys nailed it here yeah. with uh, run three rods here. We can run two more off the back bar if need be. I mean, you can actually even run rods off the downrigger, but these yeah. are clean out of the way. I mean, you guys, uh, I mean, you guys have so much experience doing this one on, yeah, on the, boats. You know, so. you got the Scotty 2106Bs. They're, you know, beautiful. We got a lot of the, the batteries and wiring down below here. Let's have a look at that. I know you guys take a lot of pride. A in, lot of pride in our, yeah. uh, we like to be neat and tidy down here. Everything's labeled. Your downrigger yeah. fuses are in here. Uh, every, all your batteries are accessible here. Great job. Um, that looks super sharp. Love it. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Look beautiful this. interior here. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. This is uh, wow, man. This is, it's a wow factor. Right? It is definitely. Just kind of just hits you like uh, stove top here. Obviously fridge. But when I walk in. Tons of room. Look but, at the room. I mean, I just think of sitting in that helm, right, and, and, and driving this boat and the dashboard, how sharp, how well, slick that looks. Look at that, man. Shockwave seat here. The new, uh, got the Corbin. Yeah, wow. That's how does great. that feel? Pretty comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Feels like I want to get on the water soon. Yeah. yeah, but look at this big screen again. Bow thrusters here. We've got the Spotlight or searchlight up That's top your there. Search light, yeah. yeah, you got your autopilot control. You've got your uh, your mercury gauge up on the top right there. Yeah, wow, it all looks so good. They got a lot of lot of great friends, a lot of great supporters. Yeah, that, you do uh, definitely. And uh, you guys making this come together, right? Like uh, sponsors and that. This is uh, it's like I feel like it's a Christmas morning all the way. It is like a Christmas we're, morning. We're in the middle of summer. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it right now, but uh, or the beginning of summer. But yeah, this is spectacular, man. I think the next step here is uh, get her on the water. Yeah, let's take it down to the water. I mean, Try I know I kind of envisioned this beautiful sunny day to get her out there, but this is yes, this, this is, is the reality of the West Coast. <laughs> like, there's no such thing as bad weather. This is bad clothing. So this is the authentic West Coast experience right here. Helene. All right. Awesome. Thanks All so right. much. You're welcome. <laughs> next morning, it was time to find out if we had a fishy boat. We hooked up to our BD diesel truck and towed down to the French Creek Marina. My excitement level was through the roof to get this boat into the water, but I wanted to bring along an ocean expert to help me out. We're here ready to break in our brand new Kingfisher 3025 GFX boat. Uh, 
to see if it's fishy. Got a really good feeling about this boat. Can't wait to get it in the water. And uh, no better way than to test a boat with somebody who knows quite a bit about fishing, knows how to read water. You could say he's kind of kind of an expert, really. And uh, he's gonna give us a hand today. So, whoa, 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 Finn, what's up, buddy? This is the guy. He's the uh, official tester of the Rio West Coast boat. That's it. Beautiful. I know, it's amazing. And you're the first person on the boat, or first mammal on the boat, I guess. Yes, yes. So uh, let's get out on the water. We'll have Finn give us a hand breaking this boat in, and we'll find out how fishy it is. Let's go. Driving our new boat for the first time was, was absolutely phenomenal. Just getting into the captain's seat and getting behind the helm and feeling the steering wheel and, and the throttle and looking at our electronics and how everything was placed on the boat. It was, everything was just perfect. And opening up the throttle, getting our boat up on step, hearing those Mercury engines just purr. And I mean, it just put a huge, huge smile on my face. Well, we're gonna try a little uh, Real West Coast flasher here, Gibbs Delta, custom made. Fishing deep here, so you want nice bright colors, some UV and some glow of skinny G. Fish on fin. <laughs> yeah. That took all of two minutes. <laughs> good job, buddy. I knew you would help break this boat in. It's a good luck charm. There's lady luck and then there's whale luck, eh? Yeah, like it. Some might say whale luck. <laughs> We're fishing deep, so it's a long ways to bring these things up. We got our downriggers down at about, oh, between 180 to 220. Here we go, first salmon coming in. Nice fish. And there we go, he's gone. Live, yeah, oh, you are hungry? <laughs> well, today we're, we're gonna let the fish win today. I know you've done a lot of fishing, a lot of fish just straight with your mouth catching. This is a little different, a little different. Uh, so when you when you see that bite right on your rod, because we're fishing so deep, sometimes that fish won't pull the uh, the line off the clip. So what we'll do is you'll just come over, pop that rod out, okay, and then you just want to gain as much line back as you can, reel down as hard as you can until you can't reel anymore. And then a big mistake that some people make is when they go to try to pop their line, is they just pull from here and then your line just spins. So what you gotta do on these single action reels is palm the bottom and then pull up, all right, full tension, and that will pop it off. And now it's game on with the fish. And then you can adjust your drag if you would like, because again, being down so deep, if you have a loose drag, you're just gonna run line out. So you would like to back it off a little bit to have a little more play with the fish. Got that? Right on, let's do this. You're up next, buddy. Finn, get it. That was pretty nice technique, but I did notice one small thing. When you went to go pop it off the clip, you didn't have your hand on the reel. You did that. You did that. I know you're coachable though. You're gonna learn real fast. Next one, you're gonna nail. But you got this fish, so you did a good job. Oh, you want that? You hungry? <laughs> oh, look at him looking at you. He does not like that. He does not like that one bit. Bye-bye. He did not like that. I think you scared him. <laughs> What he appreciates, he can swim another day. Ooh, look at that bait on the screen. It's gonna happen again here real fast. You up, you up? <laughs> no, you need a break? Oh, there you go, there you go. Get it, Finn, get it. You're in, you're in. I knew you were an expert on the ocean, but I, I didn't expect this level of expertise. Yeah, you knew it? You felt good? Yeah, you knew it, you knew it. Oh, man, well, you, this is essentially, this is almost like your home water, right? Like you know the ins and outs, yeah, yeah. You know all the nooks and crannies, where these things like to hang out. Yeah, yeah, it's like your backyard. I mean, that's three fish in three minutes again. Finn's feeling it, man, he's like on fire. He's got about six already here. <laughs> Fish on. There we go, Finn. We got this guy here. Fish on. Oh, yeah. We almost had a double header there, didn't we? 
That's music to that's music to our ears, right? The, oh, Alexa, it's just singing. It's just singing to us. This was my summer training all the time, eh? Hockey's all about the arms. <laughs> and I have none. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Double up. Oh, double header, bud. There, there we go. Nice, nice. He's a quick learner, this guy, on the rod and reel. I'm gonna venture a guess and say you're a lot better at catching him with the rod and reel than I am catching him with my mouth, okay? Nice job, man. Double header here, yeah. That's fun, hey? Good action. Good fights. Can't beat it. Oh, what a day, too. Jeez, man, he's strong fish. Look at that. This is a great fight. Just chrome bullets, too. Not the biggest fish, but... No, well, he's, this guy's pushing. He's decent, man. For this time of year out here. Look at, he's a 15-pound fish, maybe. Yeah. Oh, 12. Oh, nice fish. Good job. Just some great action, eh? Yes. What do you think I should do here? Let him bring him in. You want that guy? <laughs> You're like salivating. Yeah. Oh, look at him. Oh, pretty fish. <laughs> look at him. Oh, he's gonna see you, and he's not gonna be happy that fish. Oh yeah, fish. Let him get a good look at you. Oh yeah. <laughs> he's gone. Nicely done. Another double, man. Whew. Well, let's do that again. That's two in a row. Hey, you want? <laughs> I love fishing in Parksville for a couple different reasons. As far as a numbers game, I would put it up against any fishery on the West Coast. The abundance of fish in this area is, is incredible. And the unique thing about it is, is you can access up island, like going north or down island heading south, and fish in several different locations that have the same amount of fish. And you, know, you don't have the pounding or the rolling that you get off on the west coast. So it's just really the total package of fishing in this area that makes it so enjoyable. Oh yeah, how's that one feel? Pretty good? Yeah, that's a good bite, eh? Started smoking line right away. Yeah. There's another one, double header, another thing. Oh yeah, we on. There we go. Nice job, buddy. It's I know it's shocking, but we have another double header. <laughs> Man, this is crazy. Like you could go a whole season without without getting a double header at times. We've had I think this is our fourth one in an hour and a half. Man, it's been non-stop action here. A lot of fun. A lot of fun just to get on the water. This is not a bad office. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, under, under, the, under the water is a pretty good office too, I know. Oh, wow. Oh, nice jump. See that, Finn? There you go. Nice. Now, hey, hey, hey. Control your fish, would you? So Finn's got another fish here to the boat. That was a nice fish. Got a nice jump out of it. But uh, Finn was recruited to the Canucks pretty much the year after I got there. I showed up in... 2000, Finn, Finn joined the club in 2001 and he's been a, a mainstay on the team. Does an awesome job in the community. The fans absolutely love him. It's a huge part of the culture of the Canucks and we appreciate everything that he does. Look at that fish, Finn. Oh boy. Well, let's pop that hook out there. We'll let that guy go. Nice. Ah, there it is. <laughs> He's gone. This nice job. Nice work. Beauty. Nice job, buddy. Great job. See, sometimes you be nice to the fish, they be nice to you. You know what I mean? Oh, man. It's a burn. Oh, there he is. We're on him. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, yeah, exactly. Thank you. Oh, another, another nice Chinook. This is kind of always the moment of the truth like that. When they spin at the surface, I was just gonna say, you saved Nolan there. Didn't have to release that one. Woo, good job again, guys. Wow. I have to take a break. <laughs> it's exhausting. 
Oh my goodness. Well, I'm gonna go out on a limb and say the boat's fishy. Yeah. <laughs> have to agree. 20 Chinook in about an hour and a half. They're not scared of it, that's for sure. Oh my God. It's the next day and today we're gonna head out with Nolan from Parksville Boathouse and drop some super prawn traps and try to get some prawns while we fish for salmon nearby. Here we are, we're gonna try something a little bit different than just line fishing. We're gonna prawn fish, right? So we've been gifted a pair of super traps yep. and uh, we're gonna dunk these things here for uh, a few hours and, and uh, see if we can get ourselves some spot prawns over here. We've got them rigged up pretty much right now. We just gotta bait them and then we'll, we'll send them on their way and they can do their thing. You betcha. All right, let's get at her. When it comes to prawning, an essential part of being successful is having great electronics. We used our Simrad system to look for pinnacles and ledges where prawns typically hang out. So when you have a good system and you identify where these, these markers are on the bottom of the ocean, you kind of situate yourself in front of these pinnacles and ledges and then you lower your traps with the hopes that they kind of settle right close to these areas where prawns hang out. Once you got it down and you know exactly what you're looking for, you can get dialed right in and you can load up on prawns, especially BC spot prawns, which are some of the best table fare anywhere on the West Coast. Fish, fish, fish. Find the bait, find the fish, eh? We just saw that on the screen and literally like 10 seconds later. Oh, yeah. I mean, th just look at the bait on the screen. It's nuts. It's absolutely insane. Pretty fun. Pretty fun way to spend the morning. Still got quite a bit of line out this guy. These fish are strong fish. Kind of feels like summer finally after a long, cold spring. Absolutely. Yeah. Here comes the flasher. Oh, that's a decent fish. If you need to net him, you can. You want to net him? Well, if he's high, I didn't really see him. I'll just get it ready anyways, just in case. Oh, dude, that's a nice fish. Yeah. Always this right here. Oh, I hate this. Come Keep on, buddy. Head down if you can. I'm trying to. But he might be tired, though, if we can. Holy jeez. That's a nice fish, That's dude. a nice fish this time of year. Any time of year. Whoa. You kidding me? That's a great fish, dude. Whoa! Jeez. I'm exhausted right now. Oh, it's been an incredible fight, this thing here. Jeez. See if he cooperates. Oh, he's not quite. Jeez, look at that thing go again. This is insane. What a this great fish fight. Is a strong, unbelievable fight. Yeah. No matter what oh happens, that's a nice goodness. fish. He's still he's go going, again. like, he's just going mad. Hopefully. <laughs> like, I would have thought that fish was 40 pounds, man. It's a 20-pound fish. Though. Yeah. What a beauty. Oh, jeez. Thanks, fish. That was sweet, man. That was a sweet My fish. on fire, oh, buddy. Yeah. Gosh, that's a nice, that's a beautiful fish for this time of year. Yeah. Like a chrome bullet. Oh, dude, what a fish. Are you kidding me? Absolutely gorgeous. He's a thick fish, low 20s this time of year. Okay. Awesome. We'll get him on his way here. He's ready to go, I think. But... One, two, he's kicking three. Oh, wow. yeah. oh, no better feeling. <laughs> wow. Dude, that, that was incredible. That was sweet, what man. What a fight. Right on. Oh, good time. job. That's a nice good one. Good job. That was a real nice one. After some great salmon action, it was time to pull our super prawn traps to see if we were successful. Look at that. Jackpot, baby. A couple in there. It's like six in that one. This is just an, an appetizer. A little, little appy. Ooh, ooh. We're not showing you all of them, just a little bit. Just just a little bit. All right, man. Let's, Might be uh, all of them. Let's, uh, let's celebrate. Let's celebrate. These good days fishing. Good days fishing with, uh, with a spot prawn, bud. Help and dig yourself one out. There we go. Fresh BC spot prawn. Yeah, cheers. Decent size one, dude. Oh, yeah. Mm. Yeah, you can't be that. We might have to dig into those some more. 
That's really good. Mm -hmm. Nice job. One yep. day. That was fun. Thank you. <laughs> The fishery in Parksville always seems to amaze me. I couldn't be happier with our new Kingfisher boat. It passed its maiden voyage with flying colors, and we definitely confirmed it's a fishy boat. I'm super grateful to everyone who had a hand in making this happen, and I look forward to creating many more memories with family and friends out on the water.